be able to share with you what God has placed in my heart. Just praying in the Holy Ghost, asking the Lord what He would have for the people today. A message that I keep hearing in my spirit that I want to share with you. about the woman with the issue of blood. Now you may have heard this story out of the word of God. But in Mark chapter 5, when it talks about the woman with the issue of blood, it said that she was bleeding for 12 years and she went to many different doctors and spent all of her money and nothing made her better. Nothing that she could spend her money on would cure what was going on in her body. And the word says that then she heard about this man, Jesus. She had heard about him. She must have heard good things. She must have heard about the miracles and the healing power that he walked in. Now it doesn't say that in the scripture, but it says that she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know that I would be made whole. Now she didn't just come up with that revelation on her own. She must have heard about what Jesus has done. She must have heard that the healing anointing, the healing power that he carried, the many miracles and signs that have happened through his ministry and so she grabbed hold of it by faith and she said if I can just grab the hem of his garment I know that I can be made whole and so it said that she went and she heard that he was going to be in a certain place and now at the time for her to go out in public with the disease that she had with the, the issue of blood flowing in her body she could have been stoned to death. But she didn't care. She was desperate. She was in need of a miracle. She needed a healing in her body. And she refused to let fear, the fear of man, to stop her from getting the miracle that she needed. Because she'd already tried everything else. She had no other options. There was no else place... No other place for her to go but to Jesus. So it says that she went into the city square where he was walking and there's crowds of people. And she, and she pressed in, pushing past the crowd, pushing past the people so that she could just touch the hem of his garment. And the Bible says that immediately as she touched the hem of his garment, she was made completely whole and the blood dried up and Jesus felt power leaving him he felt the drawing of the anointing and the power now in Acts chapter 5 it says that Peter was walking and they lined the streets with the sick so that his shadow would pass by that the power would be released. It's the same power that was released from the hem of the garment of Jesus it was released in the shadow of Peter. Now what I want to share with you to encourage you is that you may be having an issue in your body. I really felt led by the Lord to share this message on people that are dealing with sickness in their body. They have an issue that Maybe the doctors told you there's no cure. Or maybe you just know that you've been dealing with it for so long that you don't know what else to do. You have nowhere else to turn. You've tried different medicines. You've tried witchcraft. You've tried different things. You've, you've went out and you've sought different help and, and nothing has seemed to fix the problem. And maybe it does go away temporarily, but then it comes back again. Well, I'm here to tell you now that the Word of God says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
that the same Jesus that was walking on those streets when the woman reached out and touched the hem of his garment is the same Jesus that was with Peter when he walked in the book of Acts. And it's the same Jesus that is here now. The Bible says he's never left us nor forsaken us. And Ephesians says that we are seated with him in heavenly places. So if you would call on the name of the Lord, if you would trust in his word and trust in the name of Jesus Christ, he can heal your body and he will. It's a promise. The Bible says in Isaiah that by his stripes you are healed. It is finished. Jesus nailed it to the cross. Every stripe on his back was for your healing. And if you would just reach out and grab hold of it by faith, imagine that the hem of his garment is right before you. Reach out and grab it now. In the spirit, there's a cloth, there's a hem of a garment right before you. Just reach out, grab it by faith, pull that down and say, I receive my healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For everyone that's listening now, that has a sickness in their body, that has a pain, that has something going on. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's malaria. I don't care if it's some type of cancer. I don't care if it's a pain, if it's a bone, a muscle, a tendon, something with your brain, something with your eyes, something with your ears. I command now in the mighty name of Jesus to be made whole now in Jesus' name. I loose the healing anointing of God by the power of the Holy Ghost. There's no distance in the spiritual realm. Even now. As you hear my voice, let the healing power of God touch you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you now for the manifestation of your healing anointing. I thank you right now that healing is being poured out. Poured out. Receive it. Receive it. Grab it by faith and receive it now. Backs are being healed. Legs are being healed. Hearts are being mended. Brains are being restored. Blind eyes are being opened. You may have been blind in a, in the left eye. One eye has been blinded. It's a completely healed. Check it now. It's done. It's finished. In Jesus' mighty name. I loose the healing anointing of God by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of God touch you now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, precious Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you received a healing in your body, testify. Call in. Do whatever you have to do. Let someone know. Testify what God has done in your body. We want to hear the miracles. We want to hear what God is doing. And right now, I feel it strong. If there's anyone listening under the sound of my voice that you've never confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and if you were to die today and stand before Him, do you know if you, where you would spend eternity? Do you know if heaven is your home? Do you have a confidence and assurance that Jesus paid the price for you and that you're going to spend eternity with him in heaven. Maybe you don't, or maybe you used to. Maybe you, you at one point in your life, you gave your heart to him, but then something caught you off guard. Something happened in your life that pulled you away. You were distracted by the lust of the flesh. You were pulled away from the things of God, but you want to come back now. Now is the time. The Bible says now is the day of salvation. I'm going to give you an opportunity right now to pray with us and then I want you to call in and let us know so we can get you plugged in to a local church because we want to see you growing and being discipled but right now if that's you if you have never confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior or if you turned your back on God and you've been running away from the call of God on your life or maybe you're just not sure and you just don't know maybe you say yes I'm saved but I'm not sure about my salvation I don't know if I'm going to be in heaven well you can know today you can pray and have a confidence that heaven is your home because Jesus paid the price for you. Hell was not made for you. Jesus paid the price on the cross of Calvary. His blood was shed so that you could be set free. So if that's you, I want you to say this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, 
come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me. Cleanse me. Make me new. I confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. I ask you now to take out the heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh. I thank you that I'm forgiven, that I'm redeemed, that I'm born again, and that I'm on my way to heaven. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for it now. Hallelujah. If that's you, if you said that prayer, call in. Reach out to us. Let us know. We want to be involved in getting you plugged in so you can be discipled. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you. God bless you.